This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 5. We we'll start at verse 8. There shall be a confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be off sent out again. And the wild beasts shall change their places, and mistress women shall bring forth monsters. And we're living in a day and a time where, you know, animals whose habitat is not normally um, in uh, urban neighborhoods and whatnot, we're starting to see that. You know, I did a video about um, a serval um, cat that's found in um, actually like Africa and other countries. Um, was found in in, in in the market district <laughs> in in our city. Uh, and you got bears, and and we stay in the state of Ohio, so literally, you know, Ohio has bears and wolves and coyotes and all manner of creature foxes. Um, the mistress women bringing forth monsters is going into basically, you know, uh, these deformed children you know what I mean you know children you know twin children with one head and you know children missing limbs and whatnot now these monsters you know this current generation these children these GMO babies are monsters as well because of their thinking you know the elder was breaking down you know um, what gives man his uprightness is the laws that is commandments that's brings him out of that beast state and Esau Edom is the a beast or a like onto a beast because he doesn't have the law, such as commandments. So he rules in a beast-like nature. Na uh, nature. Verse nine, and salt water shall be found in sweet and all friends shall destroy one another. You see an uptick in violence. Then shall wit hide itself and understanding withdraw itself into a secret chamber. What's the understanding and the wit is truth. You know, uh, scriptures talk about a famine of the word. Amos chapter eight, I believe eight and 11. Not a famine of bread, but of the hearing his word, you know, and you seeing um, these devils coming up with the legislation of basically, uh, you know, hate speech and um, misinformation. They're trying to deem, you know, the truth, misinformation. Scriptures talk about uh, woe to them that call evil good and good evil. Isaiah chapter 29 talks about um, the, this devil's turning the things upside down. You know, this devil literally got people believing lies and shunning the truth. Verse 10, and shall be sought of many and yet be slaki and yet not be found. Then shall unrighteousness and incon and then shall unrighteousness and incontinency be multiplied upon the earth. When you go into that word incontinency, it's basically going to a lack of self-restraint or lawlessness. And we're seeing that now because again, scriptures talk about in the last days there should be perilous times. I want to start off by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to call Loyam La Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai Ba Hashem Rachakudos Bukatam. I want to say double honors to my apostles, the elders of the great millstone who teach and do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so, now more so than ever. Shalom on to the Akwath, as well as the Akim out there listening, learning, Lord willingly, this is edifying. Shalom on to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations, but whom subscribe to this truth to you. I say shalom on this brother Yahweh Sop out of GMS Cleveland Church, fellow servant coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and through the power of Yahweh Shem Shai. So, um, Article goes into this is out of Cleveland, my city, WJW Fox 8, <laughs> fucking doubles, says police, Uber driver carjacked by passenger with gun, you know, and Cleveland is now becoming a city of carjacking, you know, um, I found it funny, I remember um, one elder brother from Kansas City, uh, I had commented on his page about some specific thing, and then he made a comment, it, I was like, well, hold up. Why would he say that? Because we weren't known for that. It did, Lord, be. But I knew it was spiritual when he said it. I'm like, what? You know? But anyhow, uh, <laughs> call William to that. Um, oh, Salaki. Shalom to that brother. Uh, Mola, Mola Hoy. I, I always butcher that brother's name. Mola Hoy. Uh, Salaki. But um, anyhow, this city is becoming a, a, a carjacking city. You know, that was known for in West, um, like, California on the West Coast, um, East Coast, you know, um, New York, Brooklyn, you know, New Jersey, um, but never in Cleveland until now. And you're going to see more of it because, again, the scriptures talk about in the last days, um, you know, uh, it, it should be perilous times. 
This is the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. This know also this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. When you go into that world, perilous, it basically breaks down to dangerous. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, bolsters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient appearance, unthankful, unholy. Unholy meaning um joined on to, you know, joined onto the the world and its wickedness. Scriptures talk about holy kodash is meaning to be separate, you know. Deuteronomy chapter 7 says the Most High made Israel a holy people, a separate people from the rest of the nations. Scriptures talk about um, not to be joined on to the world. We are in the world, but not of the world. Verse 3, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontent. That's that same word again, lack of self-restraint. So well, whoever this individual was, was in the car, saw something they wanted, you know, was in that do as thou will spirit and took it. Fierce despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the Most High. You know, do as thou wilt. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such turn away. They deny the power of Yahweh Shemi You know. But worship, you know, you know, the creation. You know, they worship individuals. They worship LeBron James. They worship food. They worship dumb idols. You know, that have no power. So I'm gonna read a little bit of the article. It's not meant to be long, you know. Um, I saw it yesterday. I meant to bring it out yesterday, but you know, you know, things still turning up, even though we in a year of the hopeful year of all the prophecies coming to pass. And hopefully, this is that year, Shaker Heights. But you know, this year year ends in a seven, you know, two, two, three. So you know, and you know, numbers do hold significance to a degree. But not to a degree they hold significance. That's why, you know, they're utilized on the left hand, right hand side. So, you know, seven is completion. Hopefully this is it. You know what I mean? And Uber driver told city police, because you're going to just constantly keep on seeing more and more uh, violence. You know, it tells you that in the book of uh, Genesis. It says about how uh, there's much violence on the earth. This is the book of Genesis chapter six and verse um Five and it reads, and the Most High saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshua that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man who I, whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air, for it repented me that I have made them. Verse eleven. The earth also was corrupt before the Most High, and the earth was filled with violence. Yeah. Verse 13, And the Most High said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence. Though, slack it through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. So, you know, um, it, all things basically repeat. So, uh, if you know, at the end of the day, you know, if it was violence taking place, you know, in the days of Noah, it's going to be in the scripture. Talk about as in the days of Noah, like, you know, matter of fact, like the days of Noah, you know, it, you know, at the end. So it says um, an Uber driver told city police she was carjacked by a man with a gun. It happened just after 930 a.m. Wednesday when the Brooklyn woman picked up the man along Eddie Road in Cleveland, according to the news release update. It says the man showed a firearm and told her to leave her SUV at Kia Sorrento. Then he drove away. The woman was not injured. Police later met with her near the intersection of Shaker Boulevard and Lee Road. Officers later found the vehicle, which had a tracking device near Saywell Avenue in Cleveland. It was operating but abandoned, according to the release. Um, so, well, for whatever reason, this individual chose to take take um, the vehicle. You know, for his own pleasure. But, you know, and it's just showing you how it's spiritual because people ain't even thinking, like, Uber is tracked. You know what I mean? Like, because, you know, like, how do you think that they know where to pick up a person from, you know, the fair and all that? You know, and then that, you know, the actual company is tracking you. So, you know, I mean, people just doing a lot of crazy shit, but it's all the will of y'all about Shimmy outside, you know? Um, Talks about that in the book of uh, Matthew. Matthew 
Matthew chapter 24. And it says, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So when you go into the word iniquity, is sin upon sin. And because, you know, people are just transgressing the laws of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah, you know, constantly, you know, people are going to, you know, like Second Timothy said, people are going to be fierce. They're going to, you know, be cold to one another. You know, it's going to be about, especially when things, you know, supplies and the ability to take care of your household as opposed to another one. You know, for whatever reason, this guy took, it, you know, took the vehicle. Maybe he took it, called himself trying to do something and then thought about it like, oh, this should be in track. You know what I mean? Or I don't know. You know what I mean? Who's to say, you know, they, you know, cameras and whatnot are pretty inexpensive nowadays. You know what I mean? You know, I remember, you know, that was fancy technology back in the day. You know what I mean? But now a nigga in the, in the projects could have cameras all over this little project. That, you know what I mean? So, on this little apartment unit in the projects. It's the book of Ezekiel chapter eight and verse 17 then he said unto me has thou seen this O son of man it is a light thing to the house of judah that they commit the abominations which they commit here for they have filled the land with violence and have returned to provoke me to anger and lo they put the branch to the nose therefore will i also deal in fury my eyes shall not spare neither will i have pity and though they cry in my ears with a loud voice yet will i not hear them because you know at the end of the day the Lord talks about, uh, you know, how he uses different instruments of judgment. You know, um, I believe Jeremiah 15 talks about the sword to uh, kill and the, and the teeth to, uh, I'll have to find it. Jeremiah 15. It says, um, such as for the sword, it says, um, the sword to slay, the dogs to tear, and the fowls of heaven, the beasts of the earth to devour. You know, so the Lord uses, you know, he uses the pestilence, the plagues, the uh, the, the very animals. You know, he, he can put spirits on the people. You know, that's why you got deaf angels that jump on these people and, and basically, um, you know, um, enact the will of Yahweh Shem Shah. And two-thirds of our people are going to refuse to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. They're going to, you know, reject this truth. And the scriptures talk about all who basically um, will not serve the Lord should be put to death, you know. And it said literally, uh, the, you know, because of the violence that Jacob put it in the land. For they have, it is a light thing is it a light thing to the house of Judah that they commit the abominations which they commit here? For they have filled the land with violence. So, you know, when you go in the tribe of Judah, that's one of the 12 tribes, you know, the main, the head tribe, the, in actuality, the tribe that our Lord, Yahweh, Shah, Hamashiach, who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ, sprung from, from, you know. Let me find this, because, uh, so, you know, scriptures talk about, the Lord say, uh, all that will not serve me, Bring, uh, I think it's Second Chronicles chapter fifteen. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, of you know, other different tribes are going to refuse to come back to the law, such as commandments, to repent. And to come back and to serve our Lord, and therefore, you know, that you know they're going to be joined onto Esau and his society and his, his ways. You know, they're not going to um, hearken to the men of the Lord. You know, that go out week in and week out on the highways and hedges, bringing out this truth. So the Lord is going to judge them. And I just read that in the book of Ezekiel, chapter eight. So with that being said, this is book of Second Chronicles chapter 15, and the point is verse 13. And it says that whosoever will not seek the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, the power of Israel shall be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. You know, when you go into um what's that, Luke? It's Luke 19.
It's the book of um, Luke chapter 19 and point is verse 27. When you go into this parable, it's um, basically Yahweh Shai, who you people are going to call Jesus Christ. And it, it's backing up Second Chronicles because basically he gave, um, you know, his servants um, basically coins and told him to for them to basically increase the coin. So when you liken that onto this truth, you know, you're giving this truth, you're supposed to produce, you know, you know. So, you know, you you know, you're supposed to you're supposed to go and, and, and bring on fruit <laughs> meant for repentance, you know. But, you know, you had some that you had one man that literally um took one and, and made ten pounds. Thy pound have gained ten pounds. Second came, he said, Thy pound have gained five pounds. So, you know, they 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 you know they 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 doubled it, they they multiplied it. But then you had one that was slothful and put the 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 the, 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 the money up, basically um equating to this truth. So they set on the truth, they set on you know the knowledge. And he said unto him, of out of thine own mouth I, I, will I judge thee. Well, verse 21, because it says, And another came, saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. So he had the truth, but he basically kept it and, he, and hid it. For I fear thee, because thou art an austere man. Thou takest up that thou layest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow. And he said, he and he saith unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant, though knewest so like it, thou knewest that I was an austere man, you know, a hard man, taking up that I laid not down, and weeping that I did not so. And it's funny, that's just a spirit because it just popped on me, you know, it just you know, hopped on me that literally they talk about how, you know, the most high his son, who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Mashiach. Basically, it's this just, you know, they try to portray him like this soft, you know, um, you know, just like a weak individual. When the scriptures clearly say I'm an austere man, and that's a hard man. You know, he said, I feared because you were austere. <laughs> you know what I mean? He said, uh, take it up that I lay not down and reaping what I did not sow. He said, wherefore then gave us not thou my money into the bank that at my coming I might have required my own with usury. And he said unto them that still by take from him the pound and give it to him that have ten pounds. For I say unto you that unto everyone which hath shall be given and from him that have not even that he shall be taken away from him. But those mine enemies which would not that I should reign over them bring hither and slay them before me. So if you're not serving Yahweh Shai Mashiach or if you're not serving Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, if you're not serving the father, the heavenly father, and his son, our big brother, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, then basically you are his enemy. That goes to two-thirds of our nation. And Yahweh Shai, who you people are going to call Jesus Christ, said, bring my enemies be he said, bring my enemies before me and slay them. Bring them hither and slay them before me. He want to watch you. So you know what I mean? And that's what the Heavenly Father about to do to a lot of Jakes. So if you a so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Seminole Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, and this, you know, video is resonating with your spirit, um, you know, I suggest you repent and come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of your power, whose true name is Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, meaning Yahweh, meaning he is or he exists, by Hashem, meaning in the name, Yahweh Shah, meaning he slaves or he delivers or you will be destroyed. And with that, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to God. Loyum la Yahweh. Bashim Yahushai Bashim Rakhakos with the thumb. Double honors to my apostles, the elders of the great millstone, teaching do well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akwat, as well as the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations, but who subscribe to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. The next time I'm able to come another lesson. Shalom, shalom, my wife, blah, 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 shalom.